Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be working on a Siemens Continental ECU. The microprocessor in it is a PowerPC 5543. We're going to have to calculate the base offset of the file and also make some changes to the Gidra C-Spec files for the processor language that we're using. So let's go ahead and jump into Gidra. We are going to import the file and choose the processor language of PowerPC, ISA, VLE, Altivec. This is the one that seems to be working the best for me. We're gonna load the file in at a base address of zero. Uh, we're gonna call this, all right, we do not wanna analyze. Okay, first thing I like to do is always try to turn the first bytes into a pointer, that didn't work. We're gonna hit F12 to disassemble. PPC VLE. Uh, that's not making any sense to me either. So we're going to open up Gidra now and uh, change this to ASCI. Sometimes you'll find part numbers in this area of the code and there's no sense in disassembling part numbers or software numbers or anything like that. All right, so this is what I was talking about. So here's some software or calibration numbers or whatever that we're not going to be turning those into code. Um, we will see at the end of these apps, we have what might be code here. There's some patterns going on for sure. So we're going to throw this into Gidra, G, paste. And once we're here, we are going to hit F12 again. And there we have our first pointer that looks like a pointer. You'll notice it starts with 7800. Okay, so these are definitely some pointers. Okay, this is our first set of registers. We're gonna call this registers one. All right, so this first instruction with R13 is an extended load immediate shifted. Uh, so what it's doing is it's loading 4,000 into the upper bits of R, upper 16 bits of R13. And then this E or 2i is doing an or immediate. Uh, pretty much it's just loading 8,000 into the lower 16 bits. So effectively is what this comes out as. So we did a uh, control A, control R, and we're gonna type in four, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three. So 4,000, 8,000. And then we have R2 is being set to 0002 in the upper 16 and 8,000 in the lower. So we'll go ahead and highlight in between there, A, R, and we're gonna set this to 28, one, two, three, so 28,000, and hit OK. All right, so there is a second set of registers that I ended up coming across after, like this didn't quite work out perfectly. We'll go find those registers right now while we're here. So we're gonna search this hex value, right? And it happens to get us to where we're going. You can see that there's a pointer that's been made to this function. Um, it improperly set this as a pointer to another function. So we're gonna clear that out and click F12. Okay, and here's our second set of registers. Okay, okay. So then you'll notice with this set, R2 is set to 8,000 and 8,000 rather than 28,000. Okay, that's important to know. We'll definitely wanna come back to that. It is also good to note that R13 is set the same in both registers. At this point, we're going to cruise into Winnells. We're gonna change this to bar view. So the issue I was having was we were only getting X references to 2D maps and 3D maps uh, uh, scalers, the X and Y axis. We were not getting any X refs to the calibration area that actually stores the 3D maps. And that calibration area comes after the portion of the calibration area that I mentioned did have X references in it. Um, unfortunately, to disassemble, we need to select all and click F12. Selecting analysis and auto analyze does not seem to work. Doing it this way, con control all, and then F12 is going to generate a lot of garbage code in our calibration area. But we'll, once this is done, we'll take a minute to kind of try to clear some of that out. That's how we're gonna do that. So 
So we're gonna copy this address right here, jump into Ghidra. Okay, and we're gonna make a selection right there. Jump back into Winnells. Copy that address right there. We're gonna go ahead and make a selection. All right, now that disassembly is completed, we're gonna go ahead and clear out this section of bad code. And let's travel back to that address we were looking at. So here we go, we have our xrefs to it. Okay, this looks, looks like a lot of garbage over on the right hand side for sure. Okay, so we're gonna work on cleaning this up. So you'll notice that we have a good display of this pointer right here, but we should be seeing the same thing right here and we don't. Another thing is this is a RAM address. We're gonna go ahead and create some area for RAM. Start address of 4,000 and uh, we'll do 2,000 thousand. Okay, we can go view that now. Okay, this should also be a RAM address right here. You'll notice R2 is the global register that we set to 28,000. 28,000 minus 6E38 equals this 211C8, and then it's loaded into R3. Okay, so this is how this assembly code is giving a pointer to this axis, which is gonna end up being the X axis of this map that we are gonna create. So then you'll notice the instruction is the exact same. It's an E add 16i. Okay, and we have R2 28,000 minus six F38, which gives us 210C8. And that loads into R3 also. And if we double click on it from the assembly view, it does take us to the right location. The issue we're having is it's not showing up in our decompiled view. Same with the RAM addressing. So RAM addressing is always pulled off R13 in this binary's case. It's the same concept. It's uh, 4,000, 8,000 minus 5B8F loaded into R4. The important part is 4,000, 8,000 is R13 and it is always referenced for RAM. 28,000 is R2, and it's always referenced for like the global pointer uh, for the ROM file, for switches, for X and Y axis, and for some two-dimensional maps. R2 and R13. So we're gonna go ahead and save, and we have to close Ghidra all the way down. We need to go into Ghidra versions, open up the version that you are using, go to processors, go to Power PC, data, languages, and we are looking for our C spec file. Okay, this is a C spec, but it's the wrong one. C spec 6432. So we need to add R2 and R13 to this unaffected category. R2 and we will go ahead and close, save. You can edit that C spec file in Notepad++ or any code editor that you prefer if you have one. All right, see what we did here? This cleaned up a lot. So now we have our X axis, our Y axis, our RAM address, our other RAM address. All right, so I was never able to get a reference to the 3D maps I was looking at. Yeah, right there will be fine. Okay, no X-Refs. 
Okay, so is what I ended up realizing was that this is X, this is Y, and this is actually a pointer to the maps we're looking for. You'll notice that the pointer calculated is not based off of any global registers. This is a free register that is used over and over. You can see that it is loading 8,000 into the upper 16 bits of R3, and then it is adding 7,002, uh, which comes out to 8,000, 7,002, which is what we see here. So at this point, I realized that this file e either needs to be split into segments or the entire thing needs to be shifted, which got me thinking back to the registers that we saw. So registers one, we load 28,000 into R2, which is correct for this file at a base address of zero. And we proved that because we have good X refs to all of our X and Y axes and our 2D maps and our switches. So then in registers two, we see that R2 is set to 8,000 and 8,000. So for this to be true, we would need to shift our base file in the same relationship that the register is being shifted by registers two. Okay, so we type in 8,000, 8,000, and we minus 28,000 from that. So if we start another project and load the file in at a base address of 7FFE, the registers being set to 8,000 and 8,000 will have the same relationship with the file as the, as the binary file being loaded at zero with a register set at 28,000. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So we're gonna open it up with the same processor language as before, okay? We're gonna name this one higher and probably just put the address with it. We're gonna to go to options and we are going to enter this address and hit okay. Okay, we do not want to analyze it. So we are gonna search for the next zero and see if this pointer still works. So F12 and sure enough it does. So here's registers number one. Okay, and then we'll take these bytes search f12 turn that into a function l registers 2 and we are going to set control a control r r13 to 41238123 okay and we're going to set r2 control a control r to 81238123 zeros 8000 8000 Okay, that's all set up. Now we're gonna hit Control A, hit F12. While that's disassembling, we're gonna jump back into Winnels and we're gonna change the display offset of this file. So this is 7FFE1234, the offset of the file in Ghidra. Hit OK. It doesn't immediately change it, it's just a bug. We click up here again and there we go, it's changed. Now we need to get back to that same function we were looking at. So we're just gonna take our calculator and we're gonna say plus, this is the X axis there, click A. Okay, there it is. All right, so let's jump back into Ghidra. We're gonna hit G, paste, okay, and there we go. Okay, and looky there. Again, generated bad code, really frustrating, is what it is. Okay, so now we can take and copy that address, jump back into Winnels, click A, paste, accept, and starting at this 80, hit K, and then for the X and Y lengths, so this one is eight, and the address is going to start there. This is X. So we are going to make this 8x EEPROM 8-bit done. Jump back into Ghidra, blow that up, copy right here. This one is also 8. This is Y. Y is 8, Y is EEPROM, that, and also 8-bit, and there you go. Obviously a really boring 3D map, right? As it has no deviation in value. However, 
that's it. All right, so there's your crash course on finding offsets or calculating offsets rather. It seems to be effective. I've done it in a few Continental ECUs so far. Hope it helps you guys. I'll hopefully be dropping another PowerPC video here soon. If you've made it this far and you've enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right.